Hey guys, it's Oaks. Today is the day after the day before. Yesterday, we lost three points against Wolves. It's still hurting, but life continues. So I'm gonna do my talking point from that game. I don't know how many points I'll be able to fit in a very short video, but let's just go for it. Number one, the manager. Frank Lampard, I know he's under a lot of uh, pressure now and like I said in my previous video, the pressure is mostly coming from the fans on social media or the big media outlet started questioning Frank Lampard, rightly so. When you lose a couple games in a row for a team like Chelsea Football Club, people are going to question it. And also, it, it, it's a big opportunity for people who didn't even like Frank Lampard to begin with to continue their agenda. 17 unbeaten run doesn't mean anything for them. Two losses is are the end of the world. So it is what it is. I'm not going to judge people. Everybody got an agenda. Everybody knows exactly what they are trying to do so the manager frank lampard and this is just my opinion i don't see anything that he did wrong he came up with a formation and players that we wanted to see more than 99 percent of the people on social media said yeah that was the right formation the right people and we are going to beat wolves but what happened is completely different and out of his control if you ask me we don't have strong mentality in that team every time another team put a little bit of pressure on us we collapse and where is the leadership nobody was there to push them a little bit when we scored the first goal everybody relaxed everybody was already on vacation and when you do that in the premier league you're gonna pay for it simple as that i was going to blame frank lampard 100 percent if we didn't create enough chances to win that game we created chances and as usual the final third the final shot always missing and we always pay the price it's not a new thing for chelsea football club it's a chelsea thing since when maurice osari or antonio conte was there we can't finish games off. Yes, Frank Lampard need to take some responsibilities because he's the boss. He chose those players. He bought those players. So anything that is going to happen, he need to be blamed for it. But when it comes to tactics, when it comes to lineup, I don't think he had enough choices. Talking point number two. The new signings need to wake up and I'm talking about Timo Werner and Kai Havert. I'm not gonna say much because I made an entire video talking about their positioning. If you are interested, you can click the link at the end of this video and go watch what I said. But they need to make Frank Lampard proud because we spent a lot of money on them and it's time for them to perform has nothing to do with their positioning against Wolves. Kai Havert played in his natural position and Timo Werner was switching in his natural positions. He played from the left and right as a second striker or inverted winger. If you know football, you know what I'm talking about. He didn't play as a natural winger. He was switching positions and at some point he ended up by playing in the middle so he played in his natural positions many positions the guy is not stuck in one position and that is one of the reasons why we bought him so there is no debate anymore about their positions because against wolves they played in their so-called natural positions but the result was the same they flopped so 
Positions are not excuses anymore. We have to acknowledge that they are having some hard time and they need to improve. Talking point number three, and this one is just like a question because I saw on social media many people calling for them to be dropped. Timo Werner and Kai Harvard need to be dropped. Now the question is, if you drop them, who is going to play in their places? You know what I mean? I was thinking that we had a very strong bench. But if you look at our bench right now, it's only injury players. Who can replace Timo Werner if he needs to be benched? You know what I mean? So it's very difficult. It's easy to say, but it's going to be very difficult to execute. So if you know anything about it or you have a solution, you can leave your comment in the description down below. For me, we can't drop them. We have to continue giving them opportunities and eventually they are going to perform very soon. Talking point number four, weak mentality in the team. Let me explain myself. At the beginning of this season, when we were losing 3-0 against West Brom, we went back, we fought, and we scored three goals. And everybody was talking about the mentality in the team. We showed some character. Right now, we don't show any character. Against Everton, when they put some pressure on us, we collapsed and we lost the game. Against Wolves, the same thing. Wolves understood very quickly that the Chelsea team was very weak mentally and physically. And if we put some pressure on them, they are going to collapse. The same thing that happened last season, the same thing that happened under Mauricio Sarri and Antonio Conte, that same mentality is continuing even with other players. You know what I mean? So I don't know what the solution is. And that's why I am all for Declan Rice to come in the team because he's a natural leader, he's a captain, and he's going to help in the dressing room too. Thiago Silva, very good captain, but he can't speak English. And it's going to be very difficult for him to command the people in front, you know, like Timo Werner or Tammy Abram or Olivier Giroud, push them, hey, keep going. We still have 15 minutes to go and all that. It looks like everybody is very quiet. As Piliqueta, we all know that he is very quiet also. He's a leader on his own way. But when it comes to, like, you know, commanding the troops, we don't have a natural leader in that team. Declan Rice needs to come as soon as possible. Talking point number five, the last one, is about new signings in January. We need some new blood in January. Yeah, it sounds like uh, very greedy because we just spent more than 200 million. But keep in mind, we are going to get rid of many players in January or next summer. So we all good. We are going to balance books. We need some wingers because all our wingers are injury prone. We need a box to box CDM or whatever you want to call him with a different profile than Angolo Kante and Billy Gilmore. And we need a center back in my opinion because Thiago Silva is also showing some fatigue and is making some uncharacteristic mistakes, in my opinion. The last couple games, if you look at Thiago Silva, he's not the same Thiago Silva that we knew at the beginning of this season. He's old, 36 years old. He's going to show some limit. He's not going to be able to play 40 plus games a season and probably he's going to get injured at some point. And who is a better candidate to replace Thiago Silva than Declan Rice? Declan Rice is just like buying three players in one. He can fill many positions that we desperately need people right now. 
there we go guys that's it from me if you wanna cheer me up if you wanna encourage me to continue making this kind of videos regardless of the depressing time we have right now at Chelsea Football Club you can leave a like you can also subscribe to the channel but if one like is too much for you and you don't want to help your brother out it's okay it's not an obligation enjoy the free product